Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the latest episode of my multi-tool vlog. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel. So I've got a lot of updates on many new tools, uh, budget-priced tools. I will also talk about uh, the Leatherman Juice being discontinued, and I've been finding some great deals this year on older model Gerbers, which still offer a lot of value, so I will be giving examples of those and we will look at some multi-use knives from the German company Puma right? and much more. So that's all in this episode. Let's get to it. Now about these older Gerbers, you can sometimes find great deals on these because these have been around for a while and there's a lot of inventory out there. So a lot of times these are gathering dust on the shelves and when they don't sell any in a while, Amazon will slash the prices for a few days. That multi-tool is an MP600 Gerber bladeless model. Now, I got that for $28. The current price, only about two months after I bought it, is now $51 as, as of the day that I'm filming this. Right, so current price 51, but it was being sold for 28 only two months ago for a very limited span of time. Right, so be on the lookout for deals like that. Now here's a mini overview of that MP600 bladeless. So you see it's got uh, a bottle opener, uh, three flathead screwdrivers, a Phillips screwdriver, a metal file, scissors, the pliers of course, wire cutters, uh, a uh, removable hacksaw, and a can opener. Right, now this, I actually like this better than the the one with blades because I usually carry a pocket knife so I'd rather have the scissors in place of the little multi-tool blades right so I felt that that yeah definitely uh, $28 definitely a good deal that Gerber diesel again I picked that up about two months ago it was being sold for $32 now the current price is 64 so that was being sold for half price Again, on Amazon, but it wasn't Amazon that was selling it, it was just a particular store. The interesting thing about that is that about three weeks later, the exact same store came on with 20 more, and those all sold out in a few days as well. Right? Because there's a lot of these, a lot of stores just have these gathering dust in the back. Every once in a while, a store will just liquidate their remaining stock, so be on the lookout for that because I mean I literally got it for half price and you can too you just gotta you know kind of um, be a little savvy a little disciplined I mean it's just it's it's just like uh, any type of investing and here's an overview of the Gerber diesel as you see it's got pliers it's got a wood saw it's got a metal file scissors a single blade with a combo edge it's got a Phillips screwdriver three flathead screwdrivers can opener and bottle opener all right, so, uh, yeah, $32, that, that's definitely a buy price. Anything under 35 I mean, uh, definitely worth it on that. So that's the Gerber Diesel. Now, the Gerber Legend, about five or six months ago, I noticed they were sell Amazon itself was selling that for $52. The current price is $80, right? So if you bought it back then, uh, it's increased its worth, uh, by, by a, uh, what is that, $28? Yeah, $28. All right now, I didn't buy it then because I already owned one, but I was so tempted to just buy an extra one because I knew it was a good deal, but I, I just used that money for another deal. But if I hadn't had one, I would have scooped that up because 52 it's a great price. Like I said, today it's worth 80 Right, but that price is going to cycle back because Amazon itself was selling it for that price. Now, I personally believe Amazon uses AIs to manipulate their prices to try to generate the most sales. Right, so I do believe that that low price will come back. It, it might come back, you might have to wait till the holiday season, but I do believe that low price will come back and I believe those other low prices will come back. So I'm just going to issue a general alert be on the lookout for deals on older Gerbers. I will include links to all of these. Now, those deals are no longer active because they were like, you know, for one or two days only, 
but I will include links so that you can check on whatever day you happen to be watching this. You can check, you can check if those deals have returned. And, uh, you know, now you can, you can pull the trigger with confidence. You have some sort of gauge of what's a good deal, uh, what's a good price on these particular multi-tools. And here is an overview of the Gerber MP800 Gerber Legend. As you see, it's got the pliers, it's got a combo edge blade, a metal file, replaceable hacksaw, a Phillips screwdriver, bottle opener, two flathead screwdrivers, and scissors. Now this multi-tool is actually a lot better than I thought it was when I first got it. Uh, I've shown this in other videos, and because of that I've talked to a lot of old timers, uh, a lot of working class people who use this on the job and have used it for years and years and years. So those personal testimonials count for a lot. I mean, some of these guys, you know, they've been working with their hands since long, long before YouTube even existed, right? And I've heard a lot of people uh, praising this multi-tool in the real world, right? So yes, this is still one of Gerber's best. I actually wish that Gerber would go back to this level of quality. Now this is made in the USA and by made, it's assembled in the USA, right? Whereas, uh, you know, some of the newer Gerbers, they're, they're definitely imports, right? Now some of the pieces of this came from other countries, but still, I mean, they're putting it together in the USA, which they don't now with some of their newer multi-tools. And you can tell the quality difference so yeah, if you see this for really $60 or less is a pretty good deal for this. All right, so check out the links. And speaking of Gerber, I have a good news price update on the Gerber Center Drive. The price has decreased by about $20. Uh, back when I got mine, it was $105, which was a little steep. And uh, now it's gone down to about $85. Right, so the price has gone down by $20. It's getting more reasonable. Now, Gerber Center Drive includes uh, the extended bit driver, uh, the bit kit, plain edge blade, serrated blade. It's got the, um, the pry tool. It's got an, an aggressive all punch. Ah, the magic of editing, and it has a metal file, right? And of course, the pliers, the wire cutters, right? So. Yeah, $80 is much more reasonable than the uh, initial high price, and that price should go down. So I'll include that link and you can check what the price gets to. It's getting more reasonable, right? And it will continue to do so. So if you were on the fence about this, it might be time to try it out. And another update, Gerber has come out with a Center Drive Plus. The difference between the Center Drive and the Center Drive Plus, uh, on the Plus model, they have removed that fully serrated blade and they replace the plain edge with a combo edge blade, right? And in the freed up slot, they have put some scissors. Yeah, so do you like scissors more than you like the uh, fully serrated blade? Then try out the Center Drive Plus. However, the price on that is still pretty high, so I would wait a while, but I will include a link anyway and, and you can check out uh, the tool set. But yeah, Center Drive Plus, I will review that but I'm gonna wait for the price to get more reasonable before I do so. I also have an update on this next tool, multi-tool. I've already done a full review demonstration video with this. Now, at the time I got this, this was not available in the US. I had to order it from an overseas site, but it is now available on US Amazon. All right, so you don't have to wait four weeks for it to arrive like I did. You can get it in, in two days or whatnot. There's three different listings for it. So I will include those links. If you've been wanting one, uh, you can now get them from US Amazon. And if you're wondering, is it good? Uh, check out my full review. I'll include the link to my full review and you can check that out at your leisure. And I have an update on this multi-tool. This is called the uh, DP Now. Uh, it sounds like an adult film title to me, but that's what they're calling it. I'm going to call it the Hammer Multi-Tool because they actually call it Hammer Multi-Tool in the English part of the instructions. All right, but this, this started off as around $40, which is really not bad. But recently I saw the price dip down to about $27 a few times. Now, $27, that's like, that's a steal, actually. That's 
a really good price. So if you do see it dip down, uh, you might want to consider it. It's claim to fame. This thing has a hammer surface. I am going to do a full review, but let's let's do a little preview right now. So you see it has scissors, a wood saw, a bit driver. It comes with three double-sided bits and then like a, a micro bit with a glasses, uh, glasses screwdriver size. You see it has a cutting hook. It's got the pliers, wire cutters, a pocket clip, a plain edge blade. It's got wrench cutouts and I believe that's a spanner. It also has a hammer surface right there uh, and it's got a glass breaker too. That is the glass breaker right there. You see how far it's like a little spike. And then on the other side, it's a hammer surface with some non, you know, non-slip texture. And this also has a small pair of tweezers. See that right there, hard to dig out. It's actually got some tweezers like a Swiss knife. Now, because they added this hammer surface here, I am going to review this because Leatherman, you know, they have a hammer surface on their signal and on their MUT multi-tools but they've pretty much ignored people's requests to put those same type of hammer surfaces on some of their less specialized tools. See, this is why competition is good, because if you got a big company that's just uh, doesn't want to listen to some requests, some other company's gonna do it. Now, they did not copy them because the, the hammer on the signal, it's different, it's a lot different than this, but they're going for the same thing. So yeah, to reward them for uh, putting that there. I will review this in the future. And it does have one-handed opening on the blade and that is a locking blade. So that's, that's pretty good. So yeah, $40. It's a decent tool for $40. That's the normal price. And like I said, sometimes it dips down to $28. So I'll include that link. You want to take a look or maybe pick one up. And an update on this multi-tool. This Grandway multi-tool is now back in stock after being sold out for quite a while. Uh, the usual price is around uh, maybe around $17, sometimes less. All right, and it is actually not bad for that price. The reason it keeps selling out is because it looks a lot nicer than you would think for the low price. Grandway has, they have a, a lot of different multi-tools, but this is pretty much one of the best sellers. I like this one a bit better than my other Grandway tool that I've shown because this actually has a one-handed opening and a locking blade, which the uh, previous one did not, so that's a plus. And here is the full tool set. So as you can see, it's got a saw, it's got a blade, it's got a can opener, a bottle opener, it has an, an awl or a punch, it's got five different screwdrivers, and the pliers and the wire cutters. Yeah, so this tool set, it's really not bad for that low price. I mean, I'm certainly not going to be replacing, uh, and I'm not saying you should replace a $100 multi-tool with one of these, no no way, but on the, on the contrary, I mean, there's definitely a place for budget stuff. You could give it as a gift for, for a young person just starting out. Uh, you just need something. You need something for a spare kit. You're making a kit for uh, someone and you just basically you just need some folding pliers. Uh, there's a lot of usefulness uh, to this uh, ultra low price range. All right, so I'll include that link. You want to pick one up, and I'll include the links to the uh, the other Grand Ways as well. Now this is the Victorinox Ranger Grip 71. As you can see, it's got a large blade, a very large wood saw, and some very large uh, scissors or shears, as well as a corkscrew. Uh, the normal price on this is 60 but I did buy this for 30 uh, Just for one or two nights, Amazon was selling this for half price. And again, I think it's the AIs in charge. I think when Amazon has a product that doesn't sell for a while, their computer program like will do crazy things and overreact, and they'll like cut the price in half. Right, and because I know the normal price, I knew that 30 was a good price. So on this item, anything under 45 is a good buy, and like 30 is a great buy. That's going to happen again. Now the price went back up to 60 very quickly. Like I, I didn't even have time to make a video on that, or I would have. Because again, it's the computers that are doing it, in, in my opinion. 
but that deal is going to come back, right? So be on the lookout for crazy deals involving this. I will include a link. Now, I don't know what the price will be when I post this, but I'll include the link just so you can check it, and maybe there will be a deal. Be on the lookout for that. That will come back. It might come back, you know, during the holiday season or sooner. But I just want you to know that sometimes this thing is half price, and for $30, that, that's, a, that's a great deal. Now, speaking of Swiss knives and Swiss type knives, these are Firefly Fire Starters. I did a video on these, but you might not have seen the video because sometimes YouTube tries to screw me over. And it, if you don't know, YouTube does not show you all videos that from people you subscribe to. So if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, click on the bell icon and that, that makes them show you every video because, uh, yeah, they try to steer you away from people you actually subscribe to and into their, uh, the, their um, channels that they directly sponsor. Okay, so click the notification bell. But in case you missed it, yes, I made a video demonstrating these fire starters. This actually replaces the toothpick in a Victorinox knife. It fits in the handle scale. So Firefly Fire Starters... You can check out the video, I'll include that link, and I'll also include the Amazon link if you want to pick these up. But well worth it, you know, I personally never used the toothpick, so even a small emergency backup fire starter is more useful to me than the toothpick, All right? So check out that link. And I've got some sad news. If you didn't hear, the Leatherman Juice series is being discontinued by Leatherman. Yes. So the question is... Should you buy a few of the remaining ones in hopes that you can make some money on the deal, like as an investment? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Uh, I did... This is a Juice S2, and so is this. So I did put away uh, two mint condition S2s. So does that mean it's a good investment? Not necessarily. Very risky. Do not copy me. I want you to know what could go wrong and what could go right if you're buying a, a tool or a Swiss Army knife for an investment. Well, first of all, there have definitely been cases where a Swiss Army knife was discontinued and the price on the secondary market skyrocketed, right? And the Swiss knife collectors, they know that. Some discontinued models, you know, if you had bought 50 of them, when they were just being discontinued, you'd be a happy man right now, right? So that's what could happen. But you got to understand the risks of an investment. First of all, there's a lot more collectors of Swiss Army knives, you know, than there are of uh, Leatherman multi-tools, right? Because Swiss knives have been around for so long. They're, they're iconic. There's, you know, people in every country that love them. So, yeah... The chances of uh, the price on this going up, it's, it's not as much as the price, the chances on, let's say, a Victorinox knife. And there is also another risk. And that risk is that a year from now, two years from now, Leatherman could come out with something that's almost exactly the same, but better. Right? If they come out with like a new thing that's kind of like the Juice S2, but has a bunch of improvements right, then the Juice S2, obviously, it's not going to be worth nearly as much because why would you buy the inferior one, right? Only pure collectors would buy it, but that's not, you know, that, that, that would be not good for the price, right? So I don't know what Leatherman is going to come out with in the future, so it is a risk. So why did I buy an extra one or two extras? Well, I like the Juice S2 enough that even if I never ever resell the extra ones, I personally will use them as a multi-tool as I use that one. So there's no risk to me because like reselling it would just be some bonus far in the future. I, if, if worst came to worst, I would use it as a backup or I would, I would give it to as a gift to, to someone that will use it, right? So I'm buying it yeah, in the back of my head, maybe an investment, but I'm also just perfectly willing to use it as what it is, a tool, right? So that's why I took the risk and why you may or may not uh, want to put one or two back. 
Now I do think it is a mistake by Leatherman to, uh, to discontinue this series because these are non-locking blades which make them uh, legal in the UK, right? And the, the newer models have sub three inch blade length which also makes them legal in the UK. The UK is a very large market and I do not think it's wise for Leatherman to kind of abandon them. However, we don't know what Leatherman is planning. Maybe they're going to have another model that's UK friendly in the legal sense. We don't know. I hope they do. And Leatherman, if you haven't planned that, you should because the UK is a large, very large market. Like for, uh, they have a very large population relative to their land mass. Right, so don't abandon that market. Right, so I think they sh I don't think they should discontinue these unless they have something in the works to replace them. But yeah, consider maybe picking up an extra S2, but only if you're actually going to use it if the resale flipping does not pan out. And again, they still have the S2 on Amazon, so I will include those links for as long as they last. I found something very interesting the other day. Can you tell which one of these is a Victorinox and which one is not? Pretty similar, I'll give you a hint. Yeah, that is the Victorinox. What the heck? Puma? Yeah, Puma, which is a German company, now has uh, in their product line some knives that look very much like Victorinox. Now, when I purchased these knives, the listing said that they were made in Switzerland. Interesting. All right, but here are the boxes. It says Zeling in Germany. And as you can see, it says Germany on the blade as well. So if anyone has any further information on the uh, Puma multi-use knives, you can feel free uh, to provide that information in the comments. Because these are very rare in America, I couldn't really find any info on them. Now I purchased these from a Japanese store that was selling them on US Amazon, and I will include those links for as long as they last. But because it was a Japanese store, they might have got some of their translation wrong, but they said in their listing, made in Switzerland. Now that one was being sold as the Adventure, and it's basically like the Victorinox Ranger, but instead of a corkscrew, it's got a Phillips, and it has a few less tools on the back as well. That other one was being sold as the Camper, but they had two different models, both called the Camper. So again, they might have uh, mislabeled that, but that's what they were selling it as, the Camper. And it has a quite unique tool set. There's not, there's not a Victorinox currently that's quite like it in the same size, but it's got uh, the blade, the saw, the scissors, and the pliers. And I will provide you with links to that store for as long as they last. It seemed like they only had 30 of each model in stock, right? And since it's only one store, that could disappear at any time. So apologies in advance if those all sell out or if that store goes away. But for as long as it lasts, yeah, you know, get them while they're hot. All right, this is my Victorinox Ranger. And look at the can opener there. Can you tell? There's a slightly different shape. It might be hard for you to tell, but then when you look here, that's definitely different because the indentation right there, there's definitely a pronounced indentation there, and it's different here. It's not as pronounced. You see that? Right, you can see the difference there. So not exactly the same can opener. So it's, you know, it's not like they bought one from Victorinox and put one on there. That's a different can opener. And now check out the files. This is the Victorinox. Hold on. Yeah, this is the Victorinox. All right, so the files are definitely different. A different uh, texture pattern on the files. Uh, the ends are shaped a little bit differently. All right, so you can see. And also, the biggest thing, this is a three-sided file, but unfortunately, the Puma, that's smooth, right? It's only two-sided. So I do like the Victorinox uh, better. And here are the blades. Now this is the, the uh, Swiss knife. The blades are quite similar, but as you can see, this says Victorinox, Swiss made, stainless. And what does that say? Germany, Inox. Now Inox is uh, short for inoxidable, which means stainless. 
And the scissors are different too. You see this is the Swiss knife, this is the German, and you see the, uh, the pivots are definitely different from one another. Now this particular Puma knife has a very interesting tool set. The longer tools are a blade, scissors, a saw, and the pliers. The smaller tools are a can opener, a bottle opener, a shorter blade, and two flatheads as well as uh, the wire stripping notch. On the back we have an awl and a Phillips screwdriver and in the handle scales we've got a toothpick and we've got some tweezers. I find this tool set very interesting because Victorinox currently does not have a knife of this size that has the exact same tool set. Right, the closest would be the Craftsman or the Handyman. I think the Craftsman is not in production anymore, but those have uh, the same longer implements plus a metal file, so they're a little thicker and heavier. And here is the other Puma knife. So the four longer implements on this are the blade, a file, a saw, and the scissors. The shorter implements are the can opener, the bottle opener, two flathead screwdrivers, a small uh, spear point uh, pen knife, and it's got a wire stripper on that opener. And on the back it has an awl, a Phillips driver, and in the scales it has the same toothpick and the same tweezers uh, that the other one has. And that tool set is very interesting to me too compared to Victorinox. You will recognize it as very similar to the Victorinox Ranger. However, the Ranger has a corkscrew on the back whereas that has a Phillips. Right? And the Ranger also has a few more shorter tools on the back as well. So the Ranger has more tools but I do find it cool that you can get basically something like the Ranger, but you don't, if you don't like the corkscrew, that that has a Phillips. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing these. You know, I always try to bring you just the, the uh, interesting and unusual. And as far as Puma versus Victorinox, I don't know if this is a collaboration, if it's license, or if it's just simply direct competition. I don't know those details, but I know the laws are quite strict in, in the EU and in Germany, so I'm sure that they did whatever they had to uh, to uh, conform to those laws. But the net result is very good for the consumer because you can now get tool sets uh, that uh, Victorinox branded knives, they, they do not have some of those tool sets. Uh, Victorinox has been slow to respond to the public basically begging them for certain combinations of tools in one model that uh, they just uh, haven't made or that have been discontinued. So uh, any sort of competition or alternatives, definitely good for the consumer there. All right, YouTube, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Multi-Tool Vlog. If you have not yet subscribed, uh, please feel free to do so. But this has been We All Juggle Knives and Multi-Tools. I'm out.